All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a plugin that's really great and then how to put it into your widget area um, and use it. So first of all, I'm gonna zoom in a bit um, so that you can see better. And then from the dashboard, I'm going to go to plugins and add new. Now I'm going to search for the plugin I want it is Black Studio Tiny MCE. And this is a great plugin. Basically what it does is it allows you to um, edit things in your sidebar, just like a post um, editor. So this is the one I want. Um, you can of course click on the details to see more about it. Check out the screenshots um, to see how it works. But this is the one I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click install now. and activate plugin. All right, so the plugin is activated. So now I know with this plugin, I can go to appearance and widgets and that's where I'll find it. I'm going to put this into the primary sidebar. So I'm gonna expand the sidebar right here. And now I'm gonna find it over here under available widgets. It's right here. I'm gonna drag it and drop it into location. I'm gonna name it something like hello. And now as you can see, we have a nice um, kind of post editor right here. So it's simple to do. It's just like adding a post or a page. So if I wanted to add media, which I do, I need to upload a new file um, from my desktop. And I don't know why the title came through as a bunch of um, question marks, but we'll go ahead and just change it to hearts. Um, we can add some alt text if we want. We can choose the alignment, um, if it's linking to anything and the size, just like normal. Um, I'm gonna make this 300 by 300 in this case, the medium size for this website. And I'm gonna click insert into post. Now below that, we can add whatever text we want. Um, I'm actually going to copy the text um, from the front page of this site here. And paste that in. And now I'm going to go ahead and click save. I do want this to be visible on all pages, so I'm not gonna change the visibility. So let's click save. And now I want to remove the uh, widget that was below, but I'm not gonna delete it. I'm gonna drag this down to the inactive widgets um, just in case there's anything in it that I decide I need later. So I'm gonna put it under inactive widgets here. And now when I go back to the main page and I click refresh, there is our new widget. So as you can see, that was really easy to add and it's really easy to swap out. Um, the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget is amazing. Um, you used to have to you know, code in um, either the image or the text and use just the little text box. Um, and that was no fun for any of my clients. Um, and honestly, I like this a lot better too, just for myself, it's much faster. So that's how you can add images and information to your sidebar very easily. I'll zoom back out. This is the uh, Indie Gift Box website. It's getting a makeover right now and it's looking pretty good. I'm really um, liking how it looks. So that's how you can uh, use the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget to add things to your sidebar or any other widget area that you may have. Thank you for watching.